Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Vimo and welcome back to Minecraft. So we got a lot done off camera that I would like to show you guys. Um, first of all, we fixed the issue that we had in our storage room as far as organization. Uh, I kind of figured, you know what, item frames are going to be a little much to worry about for now. So I just went with uh, signs and I think they're working pretty good. Anyway, um... I unfortunately did die twice, as you guys can see uh, right here. That was actually from building something that I'm going to be showing you guys. I've been doing a lot of building outside, actually, for the past four hours, and I just decided to start recording. Um, we did get the nether portal up and going, and obviously from last episode, as you can see, yes, we are alive, we are here, and we got ourselves our diamond pick. And I believe I have five more diamonds inside still in my storage room, but we do have a little nether portal here which is actually looking pretty nice I did make a little bit of a spawn although I haven't taken the time and dedicated the time to actually explore the nether a little bit um, but we do have a nice little spawn here that I enclosed in cobblestone so we don't have to worry about the portal getting destroyed um, but I've been kinda just working I've been I've been taking my time with everything I've been kinda slowly doing things piece by piece uh, first I focused on working on the animal breeding room, and then I started working, uh, in the nether, and then, then I actually started working on my project outside, which is almost done. I've been doing it for about four and a half hours now, <clears throat> and I'm almost done. I started, I decided to start recording. So, I guess when I finish that project up, I'll take another, you know, couple hours or whatever, maybe tomorrow, and I'll start working on the nether, trying to find a fortress or whatever. Um, but in the breeding room here, we did finish this I did get a lot a lot of work done off camera and uh, we I fully decorated it I think it I think it looks pretty nice because we've had a lot of uh, of all these types of uh, blocks here and I was like you know what I was like we need to put these things to use so because we just had way too many of them and this is where they went and I think it looks pretty good um, I did kind of knock out our little bunny population here accidentally um, I was kind of on a, a food shortage, and I still am. I still do need a lot of food, uh, but for now, I guess I'm okay. So we'll just we'll let these guys breed up and whatnot and do their thing. But um, here we'll get the XP here. But I I need to actually get back outside and continue working. And I'll show you guys what I've been working on. That's been taking me a couple hours. I think it's really cool, and I think it's actually gonna really come in handy. Uh, we're gonna see if we can do this in the daytime. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and uh, make a day, sleep the night away. So I put a few little traps here. I put these little traps. Um, these are pretty cool. It's pretty simple. You just walk into it, and then once you step on it, you can... And I have the block over these so they can't get out. And I have a, it does work. I have trapped a few zombies and stuff like that in there from, you know, every now and again. There's one over there. Um, but most importantly, what I've been working on is... Uh, I'll show you. Actually, it's right above me. Give me a second. These guys have been spawning around here because it's dark. Um, but this is what I've been working on, and it's taken me hours upon hours, and uh, I'm actually really happy with it. I think it came out pretty cool, and it took it, it literally drained my resources, guys. I have absolutely no call. I think these are the only blocks I have right now. Um, but it literally drained my resources. It's insane how many blocks it took to build this thing and how long it took to do it how many how much editing i had to do to actually first of all getting up there back and forth was a pain and then sleeping the night away um let's just give an idea of how long this took here we are on day 39 in minecraft that is i'd say about a month and a half or so maybe almost a month and a half in minecraft that we've been in this world and um yeah I mean, that's almost 40 days that I've been, you know, sitting here uh, working on the project of my cave and doing everything. And I'm actually kind of happy that I started uh, doing a lot outside the cave, everything above ground. Like, this thing took a long time, but I think it's going to be worth it again when I, when I finally get it going. I'm still working on it. And then I got these little bad boys, and I'm going to be putting a few more of them down here and there because... Over here, it's very dark because this is blocking out the sun, obviously. So I think I'm going to put a few of them down scattered. So if anything does spawn, they can just get thrown in there and I can just, you know, control the population a little bit easier. Uh, but I will be lighting it up. This is where I kind of 
got a lot of the cobblestone from here and there's actually a couple caves that go through um that took a long time and then also in my mine shaft i was working and getting a lot of cobblestone but for over here you can kind of see it a little bit i i ran out of cobblestone so i just did the bottom with cobble just to make it look nice and then all the top of it is just the scattered random blocks and stuff like that um but what we need to do is i'm actually going to get up there and i'm going to show you guys what i did okay so i kind of uh made myself a little elevator here we can use um i'm gonna clean that up when i actually get down there i can make that look a little bit nicer but until we're finished i kind of made this little thing that can allow us to get up here easily um but what i did here it actually took a really long time these are just i'm leaving blank we're not gonna do anything with those but uh, i'm gonna show you kind of the basic layout this thing takes a lot of blocks to do so if you are doing this in survival like me, I'm just warning you guys, do not. And, and actually, I just want to make sure, just so you guys know that I don't have cheats on. Yeah, just want to throw that out there. Anyway, um, so yeah, this took a lot to do. It's a lot of blocks. So if you guys are doing it in survival, stock up on your resources because you're going to need like two inventories full of whatever. It, it's a lot. Anyway, so taking the four hours it took... Uh, I had to do a lot of adjustments, as you can see, this this was added in and stuff. Um, but I, I did have to do a lot of adjustments because a lot of it was not working. But eventually, I found the fix, and you know, I figured out the problem myself, and I got it going. So um, I'm kind of happy the way it's running right now, and so far, everything's flowing very smooth, like, and it's actually going very good. And if you kind of, if you look down here, it kind of looks like a river just flowing down and there's little streams that connect to it. And then same thing going this way. Now, the hard part was the fact that these are uneven on both ends. So it's not like, oh, I have a problem here. Let's go on that side and copy it. I can't do that. See, that part's going a little straighter. As you can see, this one's a little bumpy, but that's because of just the fact that it's actually very different. Um, which, you know, was a little bit of a problem at first, but... Once I got one side going, I went to the other, had some problems, figured them out, and then in the end, it's going. So that's all that really matters. Right now, everything's flowing very smoothly, good flow, and uh, I think it's pretty good. So how it works really is I'm not done yet, obviously, um, but probably off camera is when I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to take, uh, first of all, i got to collect a lot more blocks, so this probably won't be until another couple episodes that we're going to go back to this and show the finished product. But uh, I might do a little bit, you know, of uh, checking up. But I'm going to take some blocks and I build up the sides a little bit. And what I can do is I actually put a roof over it. And then when you put a roof over it, I do not light it up at all. So it's pitch black. And I leave the only blocks open are the ones that have water in it. There will be no blocks that do not have water open. And what they're, what it's going to do is since the light level is obviously going to be under 7 since it's dark uh, and mobs will spawn whether it's back here or anywhere wherever they spawn pretty much they're going to be taken down by the flow of the river and it's going to take them all the way down to here where they fall down and all this will be gone when I'm finished obviously and there's just going to be a pit down there where I'm actually going to put hoppers and chest so literally they're just going to go flying down they're going to fall to their death and then once they die, actually, instead of just putting hoppers at the bottom, I'm going to make it actually go down to a block, which is going to fall into another river. And I'm going to probably have to test this, which means I'm going to have to kind of kill myself a few times. But I'm going to fall down there, and they're going to fall down, they're going to die, and then once they die, their loot or whatever is actually going to be falling down into the little, probably like, that thick of water. And, um... Yeah, they're going to fall down into it, their loot's going to fall, and then it's going to slide off to the end where it's going to fall into a hopper and then go into a chest, and then we can just let that go because it's going to be dark, it's going to continuously spawn mobs, and I can just go pick up my loot out of the chest whenever I feel like it. So, it's going to be a pretty cool mob spawner, or mob farm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work with XP, I mean, like, it might get them when they fall down, I can maybe pick it up. But this is more going to be for items. I mean, I could make an XP farm, but this is more going to be for items. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so, again, there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, as you can see, there's I made, like, a little walkway going down here. And I don't know why. I feel like that was just a waste of resources. Highly unnecessary. I'm not going to go ahead and break it just because of the fact that, you know, 
It's already too late. It's already there, and just breaking it, it's gonna it's gonna be a waste of tools. Which that's not even the concern. It's just gonna be a waste of time. That's what I'm really concerned about. So I don't feel like wasting the time to do that, to be honest. Um, oh, I messed up. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to give that little bit of an update because you know I have a lot that's gonna be planned, and uh, it's all still a work in progress. Um. I mean, like, I, I have been dedicating time to this, you know, don't get me wrong, guys. And I want to, I want to continue. I want to, you know, there's still a lot more things that I want to do. I make these traps, I'm going to make some more of them around. I am going to be putting other traps as well, not just those. And then I got this bad boy, which, you know, took so much time out. But, I don't know, I think it was worth it, in my opinion. And then along with that, uh, we still need to get some time and dedicate it to the nether. I need to actually... Pick out a spot where, you know, we can find a nether fortress, and I don't know, just, I got a lot, of, I got a lot to do, but I gotta do some building in there. And then, in here as well, um, interior and decoration is done, obviously, but we still need to work on finding more chickens, because we still only have one, which again, can get us some eggs, but we can't really farm in anything from him besides that um but yeah we still need to find some more chickens um bunnies we still need to it's good we have it we just need to build it up a little bit more because i kind of depleted the population uh I w i'd like to get pigs in here but i need carrots i have found i, I found a lot of pigs around the area which is great so i can definitely do that but we just kind of need to uh you know i don't know get carrots which is gonna be kind of tough we can get one from a zombie which is rare so actually that's where the mob farm is gonna come in handy because if zombies start spawning and they start dropping then maybe some of them could drop carrots and i can pick that up out of the chest so i don't know we'll see how that goes but hopefully that that's an option there um and then in here i'm thinking sheep sheep's gonna be pretty easy i'm pretty sure you have to use wheat to breed them i'm not sure if they updated that and it changed but last time i checked it's wheat i'll do a little bit of research just to make sure um but yeah, if we can get sheep, that would be good because now after the update, they do give you food. So you get mutton, which is great because meat is going to give you a lot. And as well as that, we're going to get a lot of wool, which I am in a large supply of. And I do know where to find a lot of sheep. Um, actually, where I got all that wool because I used to bring my shears out there, which I still have. Um, so yeah, we can probably do that. I'm probably going to do that off camera or maybe even in the next episode we'll get working on that. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to save for. In the next episode, we'll get working on the sheep. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more episodes coming up in the future. Questions, comments, or concerns, if you leave a comment below, your opinions are greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, once again, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.